Ich denke, ich denke, ich habe es. Ich denke, ich habe es. Hi guys, today we are dealing with very sensitive question and I have been receiving this question quite many times and you know actually when I have tried on my last summer clothes I understood that you know this will be perfect topic to target. So today we are talking about how to dress for fat tummy which might be known as a foot, foot belly as well, muffin top, love handles, all the sweetest words. First of all, I want to invite everyone to stop using the phrase hide, because hiding means usually that you are hiding yourself in these loose, slouchy tops, which is totally unnecessary and unflattering way to deal with belly. And I will explain you why. And second of all, I want to mention that I have been going through a lot of articles and videos and I was collecting the information and I noticed that I ended up with probably 30 items in this list. And then I was considering what should I do with this list? Should I just go to the store and then just mark down everything what I'm looking to, like how it's supposed to work and make sense to me at all. So I decided that probably it is a little bit better and more beneficial for everyone if I would be explaining all these things in very easy and simple way, talking about the principles. Understanding the whole picture is the key in dressing well and flattering your body shape. Because if high-waisted pants might work for Anna, it might be totally no-go for Diana because we have different bodies and that you are dealing with your problematic area on this part doesn't mean that you have to go for the same silhouette because you have to look at one big picture and I hope that four principles which I'll be talking about today will help you to make the right choices. You can apply all these four principles together or you can follow just the ones that you feel are the right for you. Principle number one, think about dividing. So rather than hiding and putting yourself in these potato looking bags, you have to consider how you can divide your body and especially uh, this belly section here. I have been talking quite a lot about how different lines are creating different illusions or perceptions. So all the clothes, they do have lines. Let me show you. This was right here. Clothing pieces, they have two types of the lines. The outer line, which is the silhouette of the clothing. So this one, as you can see, it is totally straight. It's not cinched in at the waist. It is straight. Now, the second type of the lines are all the details inside of that clothing. So the lapels, the position of the buttons and also the closure. It might be the zippers, it might be also the pattern and the seams as well. They are combining the lines inside that piece, which is very important because all these lines together are creating a different illusion and different perspective of how you will look in that piece. Okay? We have to understand that different lines can create totally different effects on the same body shape. So let's say that I would cut myself with horizontal lines and how I will end up looking. Of course, shorter and wider. Now, if I would be wearing totally same vest, a little bit open since the outer line and inner line of this jacket are horizontal, not horizontal, vertical, they will create elongating effect and they will be slimming down. So when you are considering how to hide that belly, you have to consider about dividing that part. So tip number one, go for vertical lines. All the vertical lines can be created by open blazers, long vest, long gilets, it's the same. <laughs> front wrap blouses, front wrap dresses, uh, shirt dresses with the buttons in the front. What else? So all these clothes are creating vertical elongating lines and are slimming down. The same effect might be created using the pattern, side panels, color blocking dresses, 
everything which is creating the illusion of leaner and longer uh, body. So all the details which are placed in the vertical position will elongate and slim down. Now, you might ask, so should I be wearing only dresses? What about the tops and pants? Because it definitely creates the horizontal line. Here, the most important thing it's again to think about dividing your belly. So you might consider wearing a peplum top. So in this case, you won't have any harsh horizontal line created by different colors, but rather than that, you will be dividing your belly part with the same color and also adding that peplum detail which slims down your waistline in comparison because it is creating more volume on the bottom part and less volume on the upper part means slimmer effect. All is clear about the vertical lines. They are elongating, they are flattering, they are slimming down the silhouettes. What about the horizontal lines? We want to create the less possible contrast for our top and bottom piece. Because where the horizontal line, I mean the hemline of the top, is ending there naturally our attention and eye uh, gets concentrated on this part. That is why you want to avoid contrasting colors for your top and your bottom pieces. In this case, I would suggest going for monochromatic looks or you can use this dividing principle and divide your belly part adding a third piece, a vest, a blazer, a long line coat on the top and leave it open, which will create long vertical lines and will shorten the horizontal line on your belly. There is of course the third type of the lines, asymmetrical lines. So asymmetrical lines are also very good in this case if you want to conceal something because it doesn't let our eye to concentrate on the same level. This means that our eye is triggered and is traveling throughout this diagonal line which is flattering and elongating as well. In this case, it means that you might be wearing contrasting colors, but you just have to consider not having a horizontal line. But rather than that, just tuck in one of the sides and you will have this diagonal line instead. Let's move on to the principle number two. And here we're talking about the ways to distract. You might think that you have to hide your belly. No, usually women who has a little bit of the belly, has beautiful legs, and beautiful bust and good pair of shoulders. So take advantage of it and draw attention to these beautiful parts of your body. You can draw the attention with your statement, nice embroidered pants or these bright color shoes or statement earrings, very nice necklace. You might also accentuate your shoulders, which will create a little bit more of the volume on the upper part and in comparison, your rest of the body will look slimmer and leaner. Second way to distract the attention from your midsection is to wear something draping. I'm saying draping, not drowning. You can have a little bit of gathered uh, fabric around your midsection, but you are not drowning and you're not looking as potato bag. And the third tip how you can create the distraction is actually by tricking your eye. So you can wear something with this busy pattern where your eye will just get lost in this pattern and nobody will understand what's going on underneath. And no one needs to understand that, only you. <laughs> so as you might see, there is no need to try to hide something and to concentrate on these body parts that you are self-conscious about. You should consider the ways how to move on from hiding to creating the silhouette. And this brings us to the tip number three, create the shape you want. So when creating the shape, there are three different approaches. The first approach is that you probably want to smooth out this area. So in this case, you might be looking into a little bit stiffer but tight fitting fabrics. So high-waisted jeans, high-waisted pants, also spandex underwear and body shapers. All these firmer fabrics will help to tension your waist 
and to flatter your body shape. Now, it is important to understand the difference between the body shapes. In case you are pear shape and you have very prominent waistline, in this case, high-waisted jeans might look flattering on you and you might be wearing something crop top or short top with these jeans. In other cases, if you are more of the straight brick figure, then I don't think that high-waisted pants without any top on top is flattering. It helps to suck in, but all these love handles are still there. And another day I just placed these pants it's very nice high-waisted pants with a little bit of the structure of the fabric so it's flattering it cinch in my waist but well you know what I have a belly and you can see the roundness of the belly just popping out from these pants and saying hello maybe something is inside but it's just food you know just food that's why I would suggest to you that if you don't have that hourglass silhouette, don't expect that you will end up looking as Jennifer Lopez because you won't and everyone will see all your bumps and lumps, especially from the back. Now, there is a solution. If you are this brick type looking girl, you always can create a shape by adding some of the structure to your look. Of course, you can wear high-waisted pants but just add the third piece on top so that you are cutting this horizontal line and you are shortening this line and adding the vertical lines which are flattering and dividing your body shape into these vertical sections which is always flattering thing to do. Another way to add structure is to wear the pieces which have the structure and the silhouette that you want to create. So if you are straight, you might go for A-line silhouettes, A-line blazers, cinch in tops, peplum tops, peplum dresses, nothing else is coming up. And now the tip number three, how you can create the silhouette that you want, you can use draping fabrics. This is especially a good tip for the ones which have very defined waistline but just additional uh, belly. In this case, I would suggest to choose these fabrics which are draping around your beautiful curves but not creating any bulkness to your frame. This is the key. So you might look for jersey, cotton blend, all these fabrics which are not clinging to your body but draping and following your natural curves. All the ladies who are self-conscious about the midsection area should stay away from all these very fluid and shiny fabrics like velvet, satin, because all these fabrics, they are clinging to your body and they are emphasizing the area you are self-conscious about. And we don't want that. Now, on top to that, it is important to understand the proportions. The principle number four, proportions. As an example, I can tell you that if you are 1 meter 60 and you met your friend who is 1 meter 90 centimeters height, you might look very small. But if you will meet your niece who is 1 meter, you will appear tall. The thing is that our eye makes decision based on the difference. So it's not about the kilos, it's not about the centimeters, but it is all about the proportions and the difference that we create which is pretty much relieving, especially when the summer is just around the corner and I haven't been to the gym yet. Ha ha! So now my question is for you. If you want to create a slimmer waist effect, what are the options? How you can achieve this? So first of all, you can create more of the volume on your bottom part. Second option is that you can create more volume on your upper part, so probably on the shoulder area. And the third option is that you can do both, <laughs> which is probably the most effective way. Let's say that you have this straight figure and you are creating volume on the upper part, which makes your body look cleaner. So you might be broadening the shoulder area, you might use shoulder pads, you might use puffed sleeves, you might um, use some embroideries or off shoulders. So everything what makes your upper part look wider and in comparison your body, your waist and even your hips will appear shorter, smaller. <laughs> 
smaller if you are short and you are widening your shoulder area you might appear a little bit shorter so maybe for you the best option is to wear some flare pants or some volume on your bottom part and as a last tip as a last principle i want to say that you do you just take into consideration these principles go into the fitting room and try different silhouettes take the pictures it is very important take the pictures and then see the difference scrolling the pictures how do you look does this skirt make you look wider does this skirt is flattering on your body shape maybe this dress is the right choice for you so you have to make the comparison and by making this comparison you can understand what silhouette is doing the right thing for your body type so you see it's quite an easy thing to do you just have to pay attention to these four principles and you're ready for summer even without going to the gym everything is solved unless you have to wear that swimsuit uh oh now i want to talk very fast about several pieces that i have been seeing a lot throughout the articles and videos i have been checking about this team so first of all high-waisted pants as we talked earlier i think it was the tip number three that high-waisted pants is a perfect solution to suck in uh, the belly however you have to pay attention to your proportions so let's say that you have shorter torso and this is the case where you don't want to elongate your legs even more by wearing something high-waisted longer tops a lot of articles are suggesting to wear something around the hip area as we talked previously if you have a beautiful waistline but just additional of kilos around your waist around your tummy but you still have very defined waistline you don't have to hide this area you don't have you have to choose the flattering silhouettes as we talked about but you don't have to wear slouchy baggy clothes because it does not do anything good for your body shape and it doesn't create any flattering silhouette if you have wider shoulders and bigger chest then this top will be just hanging from your chest down there and it will be hiding your waistline once again so if you want to wear a top i would suggest wearing a third piece on top to create these vertical elongating lines which will be more flattering than wearing a long top on top now when talking about the a-line skirts i think that this is very flattering way to add definition and flatter your body shape however you want to consider how much of the volume you want to create on the bottom part so if you are a petite you want to pay attention to the hemline and also the volume if you are a little bit taller maybe you can go for more volume and also i want to mention wrap dresses it is very flattering piece that every woman should have in their closet and now when talking about the statement top again you want to consider your frame and your visual proportion so if you are petite don't go for wider shoulders because it will shorten your silhouettes but you might go for a drapery top or the top with a little bit of more pattern on it to camouflage as you may tell there are so many different options and so many ways how you can create and flatter your body shape you just have to bear in mind these four very simple principles i think that understanding these principles gives us so much of freedom don't forget that you are in control and in charge when defining what principles you want to follow and just to recap it is much more flattering trying to find the ways how to divide distract create the shape and consider the proportions rather than trying to hide yourself in these baggy clothes and layers of slouchy pieces that was all for today's video i hope that you find this video and find this information informative if so please don't forget to like this video and share it with your friends and that is all for today thank you for watching and see you very soon goodbye